Hey everybody, I hope you're well. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're making a bin. Um, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and drop us any comments below. So to start with, we're going to be starting with a cylinder. And it's going to be 1.25 high, 0.8 and 0.8 just going to drag that up like so we're going to remove that top face and then we are going to add a modifier solidify and just uh, 0.05 we'll leave it at that and then we we'll click apply we've got to go back into object mode click apply Next what we're going to do is create a loop cut on the top and then we're going to select number 3 for faces. Select, so press alt and left click. So we select the inside one there and then we're just going to extend them on the Z. And because the lid is going to sort of fit on top and that's what it will fit over if you see what I mean. So we're quite happy with that. Let's just shade smooth. Okay, next is it's going to have like a wood surround on it. Um, so let's start with a cube. We're going to crank that right down to 0.125 and it's going to be 0. 0.05 let's see where we are with it we don't want it too thick so maybe 0.025 there we go that looks a bit better um, and just one meter high and that's kind of going to fit on here okay right so we've got our cursor there in the center now what we're going to do is go to edit we're going to use the spin tool. Okay, so select the spin, spin it right the way around. I want to go just so there's a gap between them. So I'm just going to crank up the quantity. I'm quite happy with that. Um, might just make them a little bit taller, so maybe one point one point one. Yeah, that'll do. So I'm quite happy with that. And then we are going to shade smooth and then auto smooth. Okay, and what we need to do now is the lid. So we are going to going to edit this one. I'm just going to take whoa <laughs> keyboard just fell off. Oops. So on this one, we are just going to select these faces. So all I've done then was Alt and left click. So it's kind of like a loop select. And then we're just going to do a Shift D on the Z and then a P, so we're going to separate by selection and then we just tab out, so we've got this now which is a separate item and this will fit on top there now if we go back into edit, select the top and then extrude on the Z so this is going to be our lid like that, let's just that origin origin to geometry so that would like fit on the top there and then I mean just need to raise it up a bit more because we're gonna have a hole in the center here for where people can put their rubbish in okay so I'm quite happy with that let's create a cube Hope you're all having a great day. 
Um, just make it a little bit smaller. And then we're going to use this as a boo boolean. So this is going to be where people put their rubbish in. We can probably make it a little bit bigger. And then what we're going to do is going to do Control A, All Transforms tab into Edit. I'm going to select the edges, which is number two, and select the ones on the outside there. And then Control B because we're going to put a bevel on it, like so. And then we're just going to crank up the segments like that just tab out and then if we select our lid go into um, boolean and then select our little eyedropper and select that and select apply and then we should let's just make that disappear there we go we've got our lid We've got the bit where people can put the rubbish in. And now with the top, I'm going to edit. We're going to what we're going to go into. Um, maybe vertices. And then select all those on the inside. E S0. And then we can just bring it up. So sort of slightly. We could actually put a loop cut on there and just bring that up a little bit just so it doesn't look so sharp at the top there. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now I'm just going to shade smooth. So that's our that's our bin. Now for material, this piece and the base. So this is going to be black. We'll leave the specular up because we need a little bit of shininess on that. And we need to create, oh, I'm just going to drag this over onto the base there. And then these are going to be a wood. So I've already been to ambientcg.com and there's like just like loads of PBRs. I'm only using the JPEG file. Um, so with that, we need to add our material new, and then we need to change the base color to image. And then we're going to go into, once you've downloaded, just remember where it is, and then go into open and find your file. Now I've got a folder specifically for PBRs. Um, and I say all I'm doing is using the um, color JPEG, like that. Okay. And I'm more than happy with that result. So if we go into our render view, um, I'm also going to put a floor in there. Just put a chuck in a plane. Just so it looks a bit better. Maybe chuck in a different light. I normally like an area light. And then just, oh, don't know if in there. And then I normally just make it a little bit, maybe about two by two, just to soften the uh, shadow. Maybe crank up that to 1500. And I'm just going to chuck on denoise. And there we have it. There we have our cheeky little bin for the animation. Um, and that will be going in there shortly. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Um, as I said, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. We are going to be doing a few more um, 
assets for the for the animation. I know I've got to do the street lamps and maybe cardboard, old bits of cardboard that's going to be in the subway or the under passway, underpass, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, so there we are. Anyway, um, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Ta-da for now.